Well, a huge welcome to you here from the Abbey House Gardens. Rufus uh, and Kristen and all of the family have uh, welcomed us here. And I'm standing at the east end of the church, marked by the hedges that are here in front of me. And we're going to have our Easter service. So as we begin... Almighty God, to whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hidden, cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Now, on the first day of the week, Mary Magdalene came to the tomb early, while it was still dark, and saw that the stone had been taken away from the tomb. So she ran and went to Simon, Peter, and the other disciple, the one whom, loved, whom Jesus loved, and said to them, They have taken the Lord out of the tomb, and we do not know where they have laid him. Peter then came out with the other disciple, and they went towards the tomb. They both ran, but the other disciple outran Peter and reached the tomb first. And stooping to look in, he saw the linen cloths laying there, but he did not go in. Then Simon Peter came, following him, and went into the tomb. He saw the linen cloths lying and the napkin which had been on his head, but not lying with the linen cloths, but rolled up in a place by itself. Then the other disciple, who reached the tomb first, also went in, and he saw and believed. For as yet they did not know the scripture, that he must rise from the dead. Then the disciples went back to their homes. But Mary stood weeping outside the tomb, and as she wept, she stooped to look into the tomb, and saw the two angels in white, sitting where the body of Jesus had lain one at the head and one at the feet. They said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? She said to them, Because I have taken, they have taken away my Lord, and I do not know where they have laid him. Saying this, she turned round and saw Jesus standing, but did not know that it was Jesus. Jesus said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? Whom do you seek? Supposing him to be the gardener, she said to him, Sir, if you carried him away, tell me where you have laid him, and I shall take him away. Jesus said to her, Mary. She turned to him in Hebrew, Rabboni, which means teacher. Jesus said to her, Do not hold me, for I have not yet ascended to the Father. But go with my brethren and say to them, I am ascending my father and your father to my God and your God. Mary Magdalene went and said to the disciples, I have seen the Lord. And she told them that he had said these things to her. Mary Magdalene is crying her eyes out because the tomb of Jesus Christ is empty when she gets there on the first Easter Sunday. She sees the gardener and asks if he has moved the body, which she still wants to anoint with precious oils. The gardener replies to her and says one word that changes her life. Mary. John's Gospel records the moment she turned to him and cried out in Aramaic, Rabboni, which means teacher. The word turned could also mean was turned. So the story would read that Jesus' one word was enough to turn Mary round. It has been like that ever since. Jesus speaks to people and their lives are turned round with forgiveness, love and acceptance. Well, maybe we do the turning ourselves. And maybe it is Jesus who turns us round, and maybe it is both at once. Use this time of prayer to listen for God's word to you. It could change your life forever. Amen.
Thank you, Douglas, for that wonderful word, and Kieran for reading so beautifully for us from John's Gospel. It's such a pleasure to be here in the Abbey House Gardens and in the footprint of the east end of the Abbey. Before I close, I wanted to give us the opportunity, as of old, to renew our baptism vows. Do you turn to Christ? I turn to Christ. Do you repent of your sins? I repent of my sins. Do you renounce evil? I renounce evil. May Almighty God deliver you from all the powers of darkness and forgive you your sins and lead you in the light and obedience of Christ. Amen. And now we proclaim our faith. Do you believe in God the Father who created all that is? I believe and trust in him. Do you believe in his Son, Jesus Christ, who died for all mankind? I believe and trust in him. Do you believe in the Holy Spirit who gives life to us all? I believe and trust in him. This is the faith of the church. This is our faith. We believe and trust in one God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. And now may Almighty God, in his great goodness, bless you. For he sent Jesus Christ, the great shepherd of the sheep, to die for each one of us. May his blessing be upon you, upon all those whom you love, and your households this day. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. We go in peace to love and serve the Lord. In the name of Christ. Amen. I'd like to thank the Pollard family for the opportunity to be here in the Abbey House Gardens and to stand at the east end of the church and to celebrate Easter with you this Easter morning. There will be a Holy Communion at 9 on Facebook, then there will be at 10.30 the Easter service streamed and a 1662 evening prayer Easter service. So do join us if you can and take care and a very happy Easter to you. For Christ is risen, he is risen indeed. Alleluia.